Welcome to Make Shit Happen. This is episode number 34. Hey, uh, you know, things are reopening in America. Things are getting back to normal. You need to get back to normal. If you took a vacation or, you know, you said, hey, you know what? I want rest away from the world and I want to rest from my dreams. I want to rest from this. I want to rest from this. I want to get away from this. And you did not take advantage of all this time that you were sheltered at home or you were on furlough. And now it's time to go back to the the craziness and the hustle and bustle, I think you just lost. I think, you know, I hope you did something at your house. I hope you cleaned up the garage. I hope you cleaned up the attic. I hope you cleaned up the closet. I hope you did something because, you know what? America is about to go back to normal. The world is about to go back to normal. The the pe people are about to, uh, you know, the governments are about to open, reopen the economy. Summer is right around the corner. We are right around May. And if you did not work on your summer bod and, you know, all kind of other stuff, man. You know, I'm just, I'm sorry. I hope if you just, if you just sat on that couch, laid on that couch and just watched Netflix or, you know, just ate a whole bunch of junk food and, uh, you know, just drank a whole bunch of liquor. It just did not do you any good. And, uh, uh, you know, I hope you did something good and I hope you did something productive during this time. Hopefully starting next uh, week on Tuesday, we'll resume our normal show format uh, we'll, we have a couple of guests lined up and uh, I think right now we're still going to practice some social distancing and we're probably going to do some uh, Zoom uh, interviews with them. And uh, I know you just, uh, you know, if you've been listening to me, you've been tired, you're just tired of listening to me only. And uh, guys, I mean, you know, uh, coronavirus was something uh, and I mean, it is something and, uh, you know, that, that has taught us a lot of things. Uh, I think... In my opinion, I think we made something little into something huge. Uh, you know, I saw that flu season killed over 29,000 people this year, and we never made a big deal out of it. Malaria killed more people. AIDS killed more people. Cancer killed more people. Heart attack killed more people. Uh, but we never make, we never shut down economies. And I think we overreacted rather than underreacted. Uh, and I think a lot of people were wrong about it. Um, but, but this antibody, antibody test needs to be in more, uh, more out there in, in America that way people know that, Hey, you know, did they con did they contract coronavirus? Because in coronavirus, what, what we have heard and what we have seen, a lot of people might get infected. And the bad thing about coronavirus, a lot of people might get infected and they have no symptoms there. They're just normal, they're regular, just like, you know, they are functioning everything is good. And I mean, they might be a little slower, but not, I mean, they're not on 0% or 10%. They're still at 85, 90, 95%. But the problem is when they pass it on to somebody who has some underlying condition, uh, it might get bad. So if, you know, even though the economies are opening up, um, I don't know how will it work with people who have underlying condition, who have asthma, who have breathing problems, who have diabetes, or or some kind of thing that, that they might be vulnerable to getting sick, I'm not sure, um, but but I'm hoping that you know uh, that we are past the worst part of it, and the worst part of it is getting cooped up in the in the homes. And uh, I talked about that, you know, loneliness, depression, people don't know how to act. Now, what's gonna happen post, sh you know, uh, shutdown, post shelter at home kind of thing is. How are people going to react? There's a lot of people who are who overreacted and who are still overreacting. Um, a lot of people just, you know, didn't want to talk to nobody, touch nobody, come in, come into contact nobody. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, people. Some people just overreacted. Uh, some people didn't take no care. I mean, there's there are people out there who are just going partying like if everything is crazy and I mean they did not take any precaution and I mean you know there's 15 20 30 people at a party uh, every weekend and I mean you know I, I'm that was just pathetic in my in my uh, opinion and uh, I mean you know I think people still need to practice social distancing moving forward social distancing is going to become the norm uh, washing hands you should have all been washing hands from the get go 20 wash your hand 20 seconds wash your hand for 20 seconds i know it sounds like it's a long time but really it isn't some of y'all think two minutes is a long time i mean you know <laughs> but uh hey wash your hands for 20 seconds 
and uh, you know keep social distancing um as much as possible i think i think even though economies are opening up and everything is opening up where people are going to be going back to work and everything is going to try to get back to normal uh i don't think there's nothing wrong with you know social distancing there's nothing wrong with uh, being you know being uh, you know careful being extra careful as long as you you know continue with your life and uh, this is not the life is not over i mean i think it'll be okay just stay healthy uh, I, i would i would practice breathing uh, breathe in and out uh, you know and it's 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 going to be back to normal guys hey listen you know this is uh this is something that that we will remember for for the rest of our life this is something that we will be telling stories to our kids and our grandkids and and a lot of stuff texas is one of the first state reopening the economy we'll see the rest of them coming through uh, i know some of the uh, real blue states i mean they might be opening up late uh texas taking a bold step bold step being the first one uh, and i hope that it's a it's a good step um you know but let's see what happens but because you know we all want to get back to normal one way or another um and i'm hoping that things will get back to normal i hope summer will kill the virus uh, kill the virus and and i hope things will will be back to how it used to be and we'll be a nation how it used to be and we'll be a world of how it used to be without hate without racism without bigotry you know but with love and with compassion for each other thank you for listening to make shit happen you could have been listening to anything but you decided you're going to listen to make shit happen today thank you and hopefully we'll resume to our normal format starting next week stay tuned for next uh, stay tuned for 3 minute thursday this thursday thank you Have a good day.